on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Oh, come on, Izuku, stop ignoring me. No, 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 I, I, I am not talking to you right now. Oh, come on. How was I supposed to expect Bakugo to do that? It just, it was meant for me, not you, for one. So what? I didn't want him to hurt you. I didn't expect him to literally blow a hole through you. I was so... I know, you're so awesome. I beat the crap out of my old friend. Yeah, as you should have. If anything, if, I think you would have killed him if I didn't get back up. Mm. <clears throat> anyway, so if anything, I'll watch a movie. We're still walking home. I know, but if anything, I we could watch them at your place or my place. Come on, is. There's this new zombie movie that came out if you don't want to stay at home. I still can't believe you're into zombie movies. It's Don't you find that at all offensive? Eh. I think it gets weird when they're just mutate like that when like they, they're faster. I mean, it makes no sense to me. I mean, as soon as Rick and Morris sets in, shouldn't they be, you know, a lot less active? They seem very spry for dead people. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. What's wrong with that? You're dead! Yeah, so? You're... <laughs> Compared to the zombies in the movies you watch, you are the weird one. You think I'm weird? Uh, well, I... It's just... Uh, I'm kidding. I'm just shaking your chain. Don't worry about it. I'm not offended. Yeah, if anything. Yeah, I can see why you think she's like, or is she serious? Of all the things to really criticize the zombies, of they're too active. You know what? I'm in a bad mood. We're going to your place. But <coughs> don't worry. I'm sure your mom won't mind. Besides, she loves me. First time she saw you, you gave her a, a near heart attack. She fainted when she learned that you were a zombie. Well, she's used to me now. <laughs> This is so unfair. Life's unfair. Especially the afterlife. Uh, <coughs> never mind. Upon opening the door, Izuku's mom, my mom. Him noticing the. Uh. Those are some big shoes. Is yes, this is when he goes into the room and he sees 
something familiar. Is it, I, Mom? Oh, Izuku. Uh, well, uh, it was going to be a surprise uh, later on, but... Uh, what's going on? I decided to do the homestead thing. You, you know, where you, we have a monster live with us. And what are the odds? Your old friend Tio. Who? I, I, I told you about, right? She, she's the ogre? She's, yeah. As yeah, the, Izuku seeing Tio again, he's overcome with happiness and emotion because she inspired him to really try as hard as he is. The only thing is, when she stands up, just as you would expect, she towers over him. It's. <laughs> Uh, you got bigger. Uh, what? I mean, did you really just say that? You know how I feel about my height. And, oh, oh God, no, please don't cry. As she clinches her fist and punches Izuku, yelling and calling him a jerk, sending him through a wall, he go. Worried, but it's like, uh, what have I done? It's like, ow. Oh. <coughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. This has been some beginners previous. Are you an idiot? Huh? Look, he's fine. Like, no, he's hurt. You could have killed him. But I didn't. No, that doesn't matter. I mean, I can't really feel pain because I'm a zombie, of course. Wait, zombies are real? Oh, she... oh I get it. You're an idiot. What? As, yes, Izuku, he springs back to life as he's pretty much like, please don't start no bullshit. <laughs> Izuku, what did I say about language? I'm sorry, Mom. <sighs> oh, but this is one oh, hell of a surprise. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, your old friend showed back up in your life. It doesn't matter. Come on, let's watch that zombie movie. As Tio's like... So, what do you think? Huh? About my new dress? Huh? <laughs> um... Uh... It's, it looks great on you. Really? Her getting closer. Izuku's in his mind, be gone, woman. Until she just hugs him. And yes, there's a reason why the thumbnail is is like that, because that's how tall she is to Izuku. And I'm surprised no one has actually talked about how where Izuku's eyes are. Did I do it on purpose? Yes and no. But you get the gist. Upon Izuku pretty much trying to get, get a quick breath of air, the Mbira is pretty much like you, you can let him go now. He is going to die and I might have to... Hmm. Never mind, keep hooking him. What? Izuku trying to... Push himself away from Tio. The only thing is, he's grabbing something he shouldn't. Her pretty much slapping him after the embarrassment. Inko was like, 
On one hand, you deserved it. On the other hand, it saved your life. So I'm being, uh, pretty much being kind of pissed. It's kind of... Oh, well. Let's watch that movie already. Damn it. Language. I... Sorry, Miss Midoriya. Can I watch it with you? Uh, Dio, how are you with scary movies? <laughs> Please, it's not scary. To you, maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it's fake. There's no such thing as. Never mind. As they pretty much go to Izuku's room, Inko worried about her son's safety, contemplating like, "What have I done?" Have I? Did, did I do this to my son on purpose? Meanwhile, while they're watching the movie, Sabrina she's loving every moment of it. Just enjoying the guts, the gore, the guns, the beautiful weapons and guns. I love them so much. They're one of the best parts about the zombie movies. <clears throat> well, Dio is terrified. To a point where she is very clingy towards one unfortunate Izuku caught in the middle. Wherever she sees a jump scare, she squeezes tighter. Wherever she sees someone pretty much get eaten, ripped to shreds, yeah, she's screaming and crying in Izuku's ear. So yeah, that's pretty much torture for him. So I'm being just seeing this is okay. So they're bonding. That's nice. So, oh, so you don't, you don't like scary stuff, huh? Well, how about as Dio goes for popcorn? She's like, Oh, sorry, Izuku. Her seeing Zambia's hand is like, oops, uh, can you get that for me? If you thought a regular screaming woman was bad, imagine someone as big as T.O. being scared. As loud as she can be strong. They get so many noise complaints that it goes just like, okay, we need soundproof everything if this is going to work out. Yes, Izuku, he thankfully gets some relief when he just says, T.O., just, just go your room or whatnot, please. Her pretty much, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's not your fault. Him just eyeing Zambina's, why? Well, uh, it was an accident. Him getting a closer inspection. <coughs> yeah, this, this thing, this, these stitches were cut. Don't don't bullshit me, woman. Him fixing it, her hand. It's just like oh, you've gotten very good at this. Well, you usually lose your arm or leg during PE, so eh, I'm used to it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you are. You don't get freaked out or anything. I mean, I gave the gym coach a heart attack. Luckily, he didn't die, or I might have had to give him a little bite. Don't even. What? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> As, yeah, Izuku heard just talking 
pretty much just forgetting about the movie. Hmm. Why not I try something new? Now that he knows I'm incapable of feeling pain and technically immortal, I wonder how he'll react to... Oops. Huh? Uh, sorry, something fell. Maybe I should... Get... I need to get some stronger thread for my stitches. I think you can fix that for me. Sure, where is it? Oh, it's under the bed. Izuku, just... Uh, fine, I'll oblige. Uh, I'll humor you. Who's I? Huh. Soft. Wait, what did you drop? Him noticing her shirt looks rather spacious right now. So, huh? Wait. Oh, that's weird. Him pulling it up from under his bed. What's this? Yes, he's yelling and screaming, not as bad as Tio, but Inko just burst through the door and like, what is it, what happened? Her carrying a, ha a hammer. Tio as well, just pretty much ready to beat down whatever caused him to scream. What makes it worse is that he's still holding her boob so Inko seeing this Tio seeing this and Zombie is like she has a mixture of embarrassment like I also I am sorry for what I've done as well as this is comedy gold so yes, after Izuku fixes her uh, stitches, he is being pretty much scolded by Inko and Tio. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, though she is a zombie, though she does fall apart every now and again, does not give you the right to cop a feel. I didn't do it on purpose. She, she did this, but I. Now Izuku, you have to be careful. What if that would have happened out in public? Him just imagining the sheer shock of everyone, as well as the fact that he has to actually pick it up, or. So it back on them, the judgmental stares and everything. No. No. Uh, no. Nope. 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 I, I give up. What? No, I give up. I am not going through that. I, you know what? I'm, forget it. I'm carrying a stapler wherever I go. No, you can't. Zombie so is like, please don't. That those hurt. You can't feel pain. I, <coughs> I mean, I. Uh, wait. You were eavesdropping. No. <sighs> Either way, mom, I apologize, Tio. I am also sorry. It is not completely my fault, and I should not be scolded, but whatever. Whatever happens, happens. It is in the past. I would like to move past it. Them pretty much agreeing, and easy to keep going about the rest of his night. Well, just scolding Zombina as she's, I'm sorry... I did make for this to happen. I mean, I meant for you to freak out uh, 
after seeing it, but I didn't expect you to scream and alert the masses. What? Oops. So you did do it on purpose. Oh, that's some cool shit. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Just please don't do that again. No promises.